Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel World of AWS. I hope you all are doing good. So this is the first video of Linux uh, tutorial. Okay. So in this series, I am covering uh, Linux from scratch. Whatever uh, you need to know to work as a Lin uh, DevOps engineer. So I am covering all the topic which comes under Linux as a DevOps. Okay. So stay tuned with me and uh, you in the last you will be able to understand fully uh, what is Linux and what are the tasks I need to perform and what are the useful command we need to remember in order to work as a DevOps engineer. Okay. So let me walk you through the theory session first then I will uh, show you in the real time how we can create uh, file how we can list file how we can change the permission of any file how we can create user and everything i will discuss okay so let me walk you through this the theory first so linux is a free and open source operating system as everyone knows and you must knowing and if you are if you don't know then you can uh, go through it and that's server as an alternative to primary operating system like microsoft windows and mac os it was in initially created by louis tornwards in 1991 and has since gained significant popularity and widespread adoption linux is built on the unix operating system principle and it has been developed collaboratively by large community of the developer from around the world okay so in the most of the organization our application is running on uh, linux in uh, os only okay so benefit of uh, linux operating system open source and free as you know like it's open source and and it's totally free so uh, customizability we can customize it according to our requirement okay stability and reliability so it is a stable it uh, like um, linux is uh, let me uh, go through the theory part so linux is known for its stability and reliability it often used to power server embedded systems and mission critical application due to its robust architecture and ability to run the extended project without needing frequent reboots okay so it is mostly adopted OS in all by all the organization to run their application. Okay. So security. So Linux is best and most secure OS application. So wide hardware support. It's also support wide hardware. Over the year, Linux has improved its hardware capability supporting a wide range of devices including desktop laptop server mobile devices and uh, other things okay many hardware manufacturer also provide linux drive contribution so contributing to the better out of the box support variety of distribution linux uh, come in various distribution or distort okay which are customized version of the operating system so low resources utilization it use low resources and it maintain the performance of your application and the operating system community support it it have also big community support software package management so <clears throat> uh, whenever you are going to install any linux server okay so they have a specific repository you can just update your repository and you can get the package uh, whatever package you want if you don't have that package in the specific repository then you can upgrade or uh, upgrade your os okay compatibility with the development so it is totally compatible with the any environment any type of application or everything okay so here we have top level root directory of uh, linux um, operating system so bin forward slash bin 
contain essentially essential executable binaries command that are required for the system to boot and perform basic function even before other file system are mounted so it is it contain all the configuration file for the system uh, setting and various application home it is a root directory so uh, of operating system so lib and lib64 these directories are uh, directories store essential shared libraries needed by the system binaries and the other application so mnt uh, forward slash mnt so historically used for temporary mounting file system external device or network shares okay opt so this directory is used to install optional or add-on software package okay so root directory the home directory to the root user as a super user so tmp temporary file are stored here U usr contain user related program and libraries var hold variable data files that change the system run including log file databases spool directories so srv we have so intended for site specific data served by the system proc a virtual directory that provide information about running processes and the system resources sys sys similar to the proc this directory contain information and configuration options related to the kernel and hardware so these are the main top level root directory of os sorry uh, linux os operating system so in the most of cases we uh, we uh, like uh, we have to uh, go under etc home and uh, var user these are the main in the most of the cases we are we are going to use this directories okay so this this is the like uh, quick theory brief of linux operating system so uh, thanks thanks for watching please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you found informative my video keep supporting and uh, see you in the next video Thanks, thanks for watching.